Right then, hopefully you can see I've got that in there now. Um, I welded all the way along here obviously and then I've gone along with the uh, flap disc and also the cutting disc to sort of remake this this profile here. Um, yeah, pretty good considering it's me doing it. Um, there's a few bumps but I think the seal comes down to here anyway. So yeah, that should all be good. Obviously these two are now not connected. Um, I need to put some welds through. Uh, either well, I'm going to try with the spot welder, but if that doesn't work I might have to drill a few little holes and plug them together. Um, hopefully with the spot welder though. So what we'll do is clean that best I can and then see if the spot welder will fire at all. Um, I'm just a bit concerned of what there might be in between the two panels there. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that. So um, I'll just get that cleaned first, and then I'll try and show you. Vaguely clean. Put a few clamps on, try with the spot welder. Right, we'll see what happens. For once, not loving the uh, long arms on the spot welder, but let's see, should be able to get it in there. Well that's one, it's picked a hole in it. I'll do two or three more, but I'm not making holes all the way along. Well, I suppose to plug them anyway. Let's see what happens. That one hasn't, so we just have to do really short fires. Seems like it is actually holding.
sometimes do uh, a lot longer um, so I want to make sure that it's welded together really well but this is non-structural so hopefully it'll be okay Right, it's going to take me a while to get all the way along here. I'll cut back. Right then, we finally got along all the way with the old uh, spot welder. If you can see these. So, there was one or two that I just touched with the MIG where um, it picked a little hole, but some of them are absolutely fine. Just put a little bit of paint on this and then. Um, finally call that a job I think Hello guys, uh, right to show you where we've got to, I think I've done as good a job as I can. Uh, on the outside I'm pretty happy, I think that looks almost in the right position, there's going to be a little bit of blending and filling to be done there, maybe by body shop or something like that. On the inside, this is as good as I can get. I've run out of talent with that and patience, but it will be covered up by uh, the seam strip, the seal, and the, um, well, it's like a piece of the headlining really, but it just goes along the bottom three inches there. Anyway, a little close up. See the spot welds along the back here. Not quite factory look, but I mean they're not too bad. That's all on this back window. Um, there's a few bits that need welding up onto the floor still, uh, various brackets and things, uh, a couple of brackets in the boot as well. And then there's one more thing that needs doing uh, that I can remember at the minute we look at the bulkhead and the front panels that one piece is the same job again pretty much up there so from about here to there we need to replace but only the outer edge and there's a nice deep valley there which obviously is the point I'm going to uh, replace it up to um, because obviously I'm not gonna not gonna try and recreate that fold there and only the lower bit again will be covered by the seal for the window uh, there will be a seam strip on there if I can get hold of one they're grey I haven't found anywhere that sells those so we might be looking at buying a black one and with a few other bits and pieces possibly wing mirrors also can't find them in nimbus gray um, get them sprayed did get some nimbus spray gray arches though so um, I've got something to color match for the mirrors and the seam strip so that's where we've got to really uh, probably look at the bits on the floor next and then this top bit and then getting the bulkhead off right thanks for watching bye